5 seconds to go. Start. In special leave petition and in such a situation, the filing of review would be as abuse of the process of the law. We are in agreement with the view taken in Abai Maligai partnership firm Supra that if High Court allows the review petition filed after the special leave petition was dismissed after condoning the delay, it would be treated as affront to the order of the Supreme Court. But this is not the case here. In the present case, review petition was filed well within time and since the review petition was not being decided by the High Court, the appellant filed the special leave petition against the main judgment of the High Court. We therefore overrule the preliminary objection of the counsel for the respondent and hold that this appeal arising out of special leave petition is maintainable. In Gangadhar Palo's case Supra and Supreme Court while following Kunyamad's case Supra observed that when an SLP is dismissed without giving any reasons, we cannot say what was in the mind of the court while dismissing the SLP. Hence, there is no merger of the judgment of the High Court with the order of the Supreme Court and in that case, the judgment of the High Court can be reviewed since it continues to exist though the scope of the review is limited to errors apparent on the face of record. On the other hand, if the SLP is dismissed with reasons, however meager it can be just one sentence, there is a merger of the judgment of the High Court in order of Supreme Court. The court while disagreeing with judgment in K. Raja Mauli Supra held as under. We regret, we cannot agree. In our opinion, it will make no difference whether the review petition was filed in the High Court before the dismissal of the special leave petition or after the dismissal of the special leave petition. The important question really is whether the judgment of the High Court has merged into the judgment of this court by the doctrine of merger or not. When this court dismisses a special leave petition by giving some reasons, however meager it can be even of just one sentence, there will be a merger of the judgment of the High Court into the order of the Supreme Court dismissing the special leave petition. According to the doctrine of merger, the judgment of the lower court merges into the judgment of the higher court. Hence, if some reasons, however meager, 
are given by this court while dismissing the special leave petition then by the doctrine of merger the judgment of the high court merges into the judgment of this court and after merger there is no judgment of the high court hence obviously there can be no review of a judgment which does not even exist stop